Hello everyone. So today I'll be talking about how you can use Browser Stack App Automate and give you a walkthrough of Browser Stack App Live as well. So in order to connect to Browser Stack App Automate, you need to have the access key. This is something that you will get it from by clicking on this particular down arrow. Once you have the access key and all the setups installed, today I'll be walking you through APM and Python. So for that, you need to install the APM Python client. And also I'll be performing certain tests on the app.apk. So you can upload this particular application here. Once you have uploaded the application, you will be getting the browser stack app URL. This is needed in order to connect to the particular application and run your tests on. So what are we going to do today? So I go to the app live dashboard. I've already installed and uploaded the application that we are testing, which is the app.apk. You can also install applications from Play Store, App Store, etc. So I'll be performing my tests on Google Pixel 3. So App Live automatically connects to this device on the cloud and it downloads the particular application that we will be testing. So what we will be doing is basically clicking on the login screen in the application, entering the username, entering the password and then clicking on the login button. Once this comes, it should throw an alert. We will verify this alert, which is invalid login credentials. Please try again. And then I'll be clicking on the OK button. So this is the end of the test. Also, one cool thing about Browser Stack App Live is you can also inspect the locators here. So they have this particular option in DevTools, which is inspect beta. You can click on this tab and click on the inspector mode. Once you have clicked on inspect beta play button, uh, you shall be able to see the particular locator properties for the respective fields. So this is a really cool feature in app Live. So click exit and we stop the session. Now we go to the code. So the code is really very simple. You just need to import the browser username and access key. You can also store it in your environment variables and get it from there. So we specify the capabilities. Basically, the browser user key, username and browser stack user key. The particular application URL ID that we identified earlier. Enable network logs. Specify the device that we want to run on so it's google pixel 3 version 9.0 specify the project name the build and the name of the test so here we are going to say the project is browser stack app automate demo build is python android and the name is login screen test so we call the browser stack hub cloud pass in all the capabilities then we do a simple test where we open the application, click on the login screen. Then we enter the username as Jocelyn, the password, then click on the login button. And once we click on the login button, we verify whether we are getting the correct message, which is invalid login credentials. Please try again. And then we dismiss the alert and quit the browser. So I run this test using Python app automate underscore Android dot py. So once your test is run, you come back to browser app automate, you will see your build Python Android, you see the time taken for it to run, you see your session name, which is login screen test run on Google pixel three using OS version Android 9.0. When you click on it, You'll be able to see all the details about your run as well as a video. So basically you click on the login screen. 
you enter username you enter the password you verify the message and then you click on alert so you can also see a video around what has happened so you can click on the play button here and you will be able to see the exact steps uh, that were performed on the cloud so you enter username password click on login verify the message on the alert and then click on ok button so apart from this you get uh, the network logs the device logs the apm logs and details about app profiling so you get information about cpu consumption memory battery etc so that's about it hope you liked it thank you